Hello, my dudes. That's not my intro. Okay. Great start, everybody. Hi, this is Editing Alicia. I just realized that my fly was undone for this entire video, and I am so sorry. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia, and thanks for clicking on this video. I'm flapping my hands about a lot. And I'm talking really fast. This video is gonna be a weird one. Not because the topic is all that weird, it's just because I'm weird, generally. All my videos are weird, let's be real. Anyway, moving on. I thought this was a fairly appropriate outfit for today because we are gonna be talking about signs that you may be somewhat gay. I would've just said gay, but I'm not totally gay. I'm pan, so that didn't work. So we're going with somewhat gay. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, it might. I didn't think that through. We're gonna stick with it though. Also, before we start, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I believe this is gonna be my final video in 2019. So, little fact to you there. So don't judge the fact that I'm sitting on the floor in between two beds instead of sitting on one of them. I'm gay. I don't know how to sit on anything properly. So I sit on the floor, okay? <coughs> Moving on to the, the beginning of the list thing. I'm not good at this. Can you tell I've been making videos for like half a year? Probably not. Signs you may be somewhat gay. One, you get very passionate about LGBTQ plus topics when somebody mentions it or starts talking shit about it. Also, some of these are things that I should have noticed before I realized that I was somewhat gay, but I didn't. What's up guys, Ali <laughs> What the f Hello, this is my brother. I'm getting, I'm getting. He's a little bit insane. I've borrowed his bed, it's technically not his bedroom, but it's the bedroom, bedroom he's been sleeping in. Because we're at my nana's house. Oi! Bitch. Socks. You know you're just making my editing a hell of a lot harder. Exactly. This bitch. Oh, I found one. Oh, that's just many one, though. Right? It's a sock, take it. Anyway, that was a lovely introduction of my brother. Socks. Just, just leave, please. Where was I? before I was rudely interrupted. The bitch is back. I need socks. You just got socks, get out. You just wasted like four minutes of filming time, Lois, how dare you? Oh yeah, I was talking about how these, these are things that I probably should have noticed about myself, but I didn't. So, some of them are, not all of them. But you know, th th that's a thing. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Number two. That was an American accent. I don't know why I did an American accent on that. You have a very strong urge to be really close friends with somebody of the same gender or somebody who just doesn't... You know what I mean, right? Please tell me I'm making sense. Okay, basically what that means is r mistaking romantic feelings towards someone as platonic ones. So when I was in primary school in like year five or something, I thought <laughs> that I just really wanted to be friends with this female person who was very attractive and I didn't just want to be friends that's we're not saying any names here I'm sorry <laughs> number three in sex ed or growth and development as we called it in primary school because that was just what our school was like I don't know why I felt the need to mention that, but in sex ed, you are more interested in the female anatomy and <laughs> in sex ed, you are more interested in the female anatomy if you are a girl and the male anatomy if you are a boy. We're just gonna leave that there. <laughs> why am I saying this on the internet? <laughs> <clears throat> number four this is number four I can count the idea of dating kissing or having sex with someone of the opposite sex repulses you now this may also be an indication of asexuality or demisexuality something like that it does not just mean that you're gay I'm just saying this is a generalization this video is becoming very personal <laughs> Sorry, mom. 
she doesn't approve of me putting personal information on the internet but you know it's happening now so so the lighting in here is terrible probably should have mentioned that right at the beginning of this video but i didn't and number five which is the final sign that i have on this list there are more signs if you want me to do a part two let me know but number five you often find yourself staring in the general direction of someone of the same same gender i can't speak today you often find yourself staring in the general direction of someone of the same gender who just happens to be very attractive while you are zoned out yeah this happened a lot <laughs> and several times they noticed that i was staring and kind of just assumed that i was weird that's probably why I never had many friends, actually. That explains a lot. Disclaimer, I am in no way trying to tell you what you can and cannot identify as. This is just a generalization and some things that I experienced that probably should have been an indicator of bisexuality, but it wasn't to me at that time. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. That meme is really old. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting or funny or helpful, I suppose. Maybe. Was it helpful? I, probably not. I'm not a very helpful person most of the time, but thanks for watching. I hope you got some kind of entertainment out of this. If you did enjoy it, then please like the video and subscribe down there if you haven't already. You can let me know in the comments what you thought of it or some ideas for future videos. I really appreciate that because I often run out and then don't film videos for three weeks. <laughs> I upload videos once a week, usually. There have been several times when I have not done that and I apologize profusely. Is that, is that English? I promise I was a literary studies student. I upload videos once a week, most of the time. And if you wanna see more of me throughout the week when I'm not uploading, then you can follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, and TikTok. They will be linked in the description for you. I am talking really fast again, please help. This week's quote of the week is, Queer people exist. Choosing not to accept them is not an option. I hope you are all having a great day. Please continue to be wonderful people, make the world a better place, and never let anyone dull your sparkle. I will see you guys next year with another video. Goodbye. That was cheesy. It's always cheesy. That's, the, that's my outro. It's supposed to be cheesy. Okay.